So, hello everyone! I hope you're doing well. But today we're going to learn about animals, okay? Are you ready for it? I think you're ready. Okay, let's start. So, we will start our section with a game called Guess the Animal. We will guess the animals according to their definitions, okay? Let's see. It says, who am I? Let's see. I live in a forest. Okay. Can you guess the animal? Maybe not, right? Because there are lots of animals who live on the forest. <laughs> it might be hard for us to guess. Okay, let's see the next clip. Okay, I am black and white. Hmm. I think some of you will find the animal. And I have one more clue for you. I like to eat bamboo. Oh, okay. Can you guess the animal? I did. <laughs> okay, let's see it. Okay. Oh, look, it's a panda. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> okay, can you act like a panda? I can, look. <laughs> okay, well done, guys. So, let's look at the next one. Who am I? I live on the sweet water. Okay, so this animal doesn't like salty water, but it likes sweet water, okay? <laughs> And it can jump very well. Okay, can it be a kangaroo? Maybe. Oh, but it says I am tiny. It is not big, it is small. So it cannot be a kangaroo. Did you guess the animal? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, look. There are frogs. It's a frog. Can you jump like one? I can. <laughs> I can see you. Oh, okay. Good job, guys. So, let's look at the next one. Who am I? I am not a bird, but I can fly. Hmm. So, it is not a bird, but it can fly. Oh, do we have an animal like that? <laughs> let's see. And my lifespan is very short. Oh, it is sad to hear that. Let's see. Oh. I think you'll find the animal. Yes, it's a bird. Is it a bird? No, right? It's a butterfly. It is not a bird, but it is a butterfly. Okay. So, can you fly like one? I can. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, now let's see the next animal. So, I live at the North Pole. Oh, it must be very cold there, right? <laughs> okay, and I have flippers and claws. Oh, so is it a sea animal? Because it has flippers. Let's see. And it says, I can waddle. Okay, let's see. Oh, did you find the animal? I think you did. <laughs> let's see. Look, it's a penguin, right? <laughs> so, can you walk like them? I think you can. <laughs> okay, guys, good job. So, let's continue with the next animal. This one is a bit more harder, but I think you can find it. Who am I? I live in the desert. Oh, okay, so it must be very hot and dry. <laughs> we wouldn't plant layer in there. I don't live alone. I live with colonies. Oh, so it must be a social animal, right? It lives in the desert and it lives with colonies. So, which animal can it be? Let's think about it for a second. Hmm. Did you find it? I think you do. Look, they are meerkats. It's a meerkat, right? Can you stand like them? <laughs> I cannot see you. Oh, okay. No idea. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you guys. That was all for now. But we will move on with a new activity, okay? So, in a previous lesson, we just remembered the name of the animals and now we are going to learn about the body parts of the animals. Are you ready? I hope so. Okay, let's start. So, this one is a kangaroo rat because it jumps like a kangaroo okay 
the body hair of the animals are named as fur. Okay, fur. And look, it has a long tail. Okay, keep them in mind, okay? So, can you guess this animal? Which animal is it? Yes, it's a shark. Shark has very sharp teeth, right? And the arm of the sea animals are named as flipper and their tails are named as fluke, okay? It is very important because in the next activity we are going to use them. So the arm of the sea animals are called flippers and the tails are called as fluke, okay? Good job. <laughs> Let's continue. So, which animal is it? It is a deer, right? Yes. The thing above his or her head are called as antler. Okay, antler. Yes. Look, you can check the writings from there. Antler, fluke, and flipper. Okay, let's continue. So, which animal is it? Sorry? Yes. It's an elephant and the nose of the elephant are called as trunk and their teeth are named as tusk, okay? Look, the thing about his nose of the rhino is called horn, okay? Good. So that was all. Okay, so now we are going to learn about the mixed animals, okay? I think you will love this one, but let's see. So. Can you tell me the name of this animal? Sorry? I cannot hear any voice. Why? <laughs> yes, because this animal is not real life. I wish we had an animal like that, but unfortunately we don't. So, which two animals are mixed up in this picture? Yes, a duck and a horse. Good job. So, which animal part? does it have? It has a head and a beak of a duck and a body and a tail of a horse, right? Good. So, can it swim or run? I don't know. We don't have a true or a wrong answer, so you can just guess it and, or you can just use your imagination. But I think it can run. It seems so. So, hmm, again, it looks beautiful, right? Which animals are mixed up in the picture? Yes, a butterfly and an elephant. Good. So, again, can you tell me which animal's part does it have? Yes, the wings of a butterfly and a full body of an elephant, except ears, right? <laughs> Good. So, can it fly? What do you think about it? I think <laughs> it is not possible for him or her to fly because it looks very heavy, right? <laughs> so, let's continue with the next one. Hmm, which two animals are mixed up in the picture? Can you say it to me? Yes, a camel and a dog. So, again, which animal parts does it help? Yes, the head of a dog and the homes and the body of a camel. Mm -hmm. Good guys. So, what do you think about this question? Can it survive in desert? Mm, maybe you can just check the background. I think it cannot survive in desert, but it is up to you. So, oh, look, we have a cute animal again. So. Which two animals are mixed up in the picture? Yes, a cat and a penguin. Mm -hmm. So again, which animal's part does it have? The head of a kitten and the flippers and the body of a penguin. Good guys, well done. Can it swim or run? What do you think about it? I think it cannot swim, but I think it can run. But let's, we cannot know that. So, how about this one? Oh, 
it looks very dangerous, right? <laughs> so, which two animals are mixed up? Yes, a shark and a horse. Well, it's a good combination. <laughs> so, which animal's part does it have? Yes, head of a shark and body and tail of a horse, right? <laughs> Can it swim or run? What do you think about it? I don't know. Just use your imagination, okay? But I'm so glad that we don't have an animal like that in our real life. <laughs> so, here is the last one. Which two animals are mixed up in the picture? Can you say it to me? Yes, a tiger and an owl, right? Because it has wings like an owl. So, which animal's part does it have? The wings and claws of an owl and a head and a tail of a tiger. Good guys. What do you think about this one? Can it fly or run? Oh, you know, I think it can both fly and run. But who knows? Okay, thank you for hearing me. And let's continue with another game. Okay, so now we're going to play an escape game. But to attend the game, you must use the link of the Google Farm or you can just use the QR code of the game, okay? So now we're going to play an escape game, okay? Are you ready? I hope so. You will like this one, trust me. So now you're not on the earth. You are in a different world now, okay? And this world is full of danger. Scientists are hunting the animals to make experiments on them. So we should save the animals, right? Because I know that you're a good person. <laughs> And there is no one else to save the animals but you, okay? To solve the puzzle and to complete this mission, you must solve the puzzles, collect the hidden things, because in each puzzle we have different things and you should save the animals, okay? If you're ready, let's start. So, here is our first puzzle. What, which animal am I? You can see the definition of the animals in here and you should find the animals related with the definitions, okay? And after you find the animals, you will have the code. Then you should enter the code to this part and that's it. Then you will move on to the next puzzle. And without solving the first one, you cannot move further, okay? Keep that in mind. So everything is step by step. And if there's something you couldn't do, or if you want my help, you can always leave a comment, okay? So, here's our second puzzle. Find the hidden animal. To find the hidden animal, you should write the first letter of the animals. For example, write C for cat, okay? I think you can easily do this mission. I trust you. So, when you find the secret word, which is an animal, you can move on to the next activity. So in the third puzzle, you should find the correct animal. Let's see, I am the only one who can't walk. Who am I? Okay, so this answer needs to be a number, okay? This answer is not a word, it is a number. Okay, the third puzzle. So, you should read the text and choose the best answer for each question, okay? Then you'll have the hidden code. <laughs> I think you can complete this one too. Look, you should enter the code and you should enter the code to the Google form so that you can move on to the next activity. So, yes, that is all. You, so you will solve all the puzzles and I trust you with this mission, okay? If you do it, you can always send the pictures to me. So now it is time for your homeworks. I feel like you don't like homeworks much, but don't worry. This one is very funny and I know that you will enjoy from them, okay? So, you will have two options. But don't worry, you don't have two homeworks, you just have two options, which means you can select the one that you like, okay? Option one. Draw your own imaginary mixed animals by using A4 paper and colorful pencils. Okay, then you should write a paragraph about it. Such as, 
which two animals are mixed up? What is the name of your animal? Which body part does your animal have? Okay, let's look at option two. Now for this one, you should paint a picture and I will share it on YouTube in the comments below. Okay, don't worry about it. Then once you paint it, you can send it to my mail and I will share your animals in YouTube after I make them 3D. Okay, can't wait for your drawings. <laughs> I think you're all creative and oh, I just want to see the results. So do not forget to send your homeworks to our email account. Okay. <laughs> I will be waiting for it. So that was all for our lesson about animals. Thank you for listening to us. Thanks you for sparing time for us. Okay, see you on the next week.